Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Equestria War in which we're playing as Cherub Terra. Now, it's 1010 and at this Cherub Terra we have lost the war to Tobuk and we currently have Carrot Stick. He's a diplomatic genius. I like the political power. But we're not going to stay as him. We lost the war against him but we're going to keep the Scarlet Banner flying. The rejoice creatures of Cherub Terra. The defeat of the legions paves the way for the victory of the workers. The night is dark, but the moon shall light our way to a new age where the worker shall lead, not the callous legionnaire. And then we definitely probably need to at least go to a, finite, a fiscal st stabilization. The Cherub Terran bit <clears throat> has been unstable ever since we lost the war, with the threat of runway and inflation ever present. Fortunately, the Nightmare's Hoof kept a great deal of equestrian currency stashed away for use on operations, and we can use that to keep our government afloat long enough to stabilize our own monetary system. Now, we lost the war, which is not good, but we're going down a different path. Well, special development projects are grants given to those within our borders, pursuing special engineering projects that have the potential to be a great benefit to our nation. These are unlike formal research projects, as the government provides a limited oversight and instead writes a check to the teams engaging in their developments. The following list of projects below are available for the funding this time. Develop the Lancer Mark II. Not bad. Do we need it right now? Probably not. We get a little, basically one political power a day, but... Ooh, change payment type. Ooh. So when the Legion is defeated upon the fields of battle, and the vast majority of the high command either dead or missing Cherub Cherub Terra has, for the first time in its history, been forced to organize a civilian government. Headed by the former governor, Kerstick, and lieutenant governor, or general, Gorg Batten, the new government has uh, managed to swiftly stabilize the situation in what remains of Cherub Terra, however. The stabilization has come at the cost of cooperating with the vicent various dissident leaders such as the charismatic and openly heretical moon speaker Duskwain, the ever elusive leader of the True Moon Society, the Jackal, and the last but not least, Ocean Spray and his gaggle of XML, LMRD, and Legion personnel. These factions, while openly hostile to each other, are more than willing to cooperate with the government, providing the cumulative resources and expertise to us until the states of Huacatlali and New Meridian or Meridian have been reclaimed. Once the goal of this unholy alliance has been accomplished, all of the factions will turn upon each other, and the one of the most influential shall overthrow the others in establishing a new government. Influence is simply a measure of party popularity of the various factions. It has a total of six levels, with each level unlocking more powerful decisions, that allows it better to utilize the support of the four factions. These decisions can be paid for via either using PP or giving factions more influence. Aims, alms for the poor. Ooh. It looks like we get probably, uh, this harmony, I'm not sure this one, aristocracy is probably non aligned, or is that supremacist right here? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that one first. We have a lot we can do here. We actually have a lot we can do. And I want to do some of this stuff too, because I want to increase the resistance targets and whatnot too. So we definitely need more war support, which we actually have quite a bit, even though we lost the war. And get more command power, because my god, do we need more command power? Radio propaganda would be nice. I want to wait to get over here. Um, economic devastation, of course. Our economy has been utterly devastated. Following the war, we must take average to build, or else we'll fail to recover. I want to get... Not on a line. There's a communist guy here. Yeah, this is pretty good. Ivory Knight's not bad. But I want more PP. This is not bad, too. I like this one. Sterling Silver. Performance Legionary? No. Oh. If you're going to this one, please go ahead. As well as Liberty, Freedom, and Egalitarianism. Not for us. Mobile is a working class. Bypass these other two. Not bad. Old buddies <clears throat> from the hoof. Interesting. Well, we got a fiscal stabilization next. 150 communist support, which we do like, which we do want. Who gave us PP here? It's not very much. I think it's only 5%. Unaligned. Army XP, harmonious support, supremacist, supremacist. Uh, oh, well, maybe there's no extra PP we can get them. Um. I swear there was someone here. I mean, this guy's supremacist, but we don't want more supremacists. For 5%, that's not very much. Uh, honestly? Okay, well, just then... Hmm. We're still partial mobilization, too. And these are leaders that we have, currently have as well. It's not bad. I like that. Well, we want more daily common support, maybe. So if that's the case, probably just go with ivory construction. But we also want to get more influence here and more war support, too. What is this? So this one, focus on our on the countryside. Harmonist, support, stability. I like stability and war support. This one is building slots, which are okay. Land clearance, 5,000 more pony power. I don't mind getting more guns. Um, support of social resistance groups. 
I mean, I do like that too, don't get me wrong. Dedicated aircraft stuff. Yeah. We have civil and three research slots, which really sucks. But we have a cup of coffee here to keep some nice and warm too. So, when can we choose the next one? Change payment type. Yeah, I don't want to spend PP for it. Bronze Hill takes Griffinheim. Very cool. Oh, within the last 20 days. What's this one? That'll be good. D2 increase earth resistance. Oh, oh. Therantia and Tobok. Interesting. Cool. Let's go. Stabilization is good. Um, military factories would be nice. Agricultural reform would be nice too. Shake who's with the old money. Executive order 15. Yeah. This is one we, we would have to do. Mobilize the working class first, though. Our economy must, may have collapsed, but it's not the economy which works the factories. It's the workers. If we get Dusk Wayne to talk to them and listen to them to promise them a better future, then they will work for that future, even if we have to pay them and barter. Nice. Okay, so home for the poor. Point power. Two and a half. Or we go five. If you can get resistance high enough, compliance won't grow. I think. Alright, so since we're here, we're gonna go and do this one. Grab him. More daily time support. So it's just propaganda. Very good. What was the working class? Weekly pony power. Daily time support. Honestly, they could get a lot of. And weekly stability. The Freedequins Bureau. We need to organize all these recently freed laborers and integrate them into the workforce in the army. Many of them are lunarist co converts, and many more are willing to fight for the Republic. So long as we assure that at the end of the night, the Republic will be their, their Republic. And the Agricultural Reform Act. Our old agricultural laws contain numerous drugs of an aristocratic age. Where plantation-owning families owned much of the land in war with Equestria was top of mind, we'll pass an act dispensing of such anarchisms, archaisms. Executive Order Number 15. Well, an issue order that the tens of thousands of freed laborers and sheriff be given supplies and economic assistance to get back on their hooves and find a place in their country. It's both the smart thing to do and the right thing to do. Let's do that one first. It's 10-10 still. Um, extraction, rubber. Ooh, let's see. Naval stuff. I do want subs. That's where we're really gearing towards. So we do have field hospitals as well. Um, but go and do this one first. Why not? Keep building up, building up 28%. My god, that sucks. Sucks to be you. Mm. The world left large sections of our infrastructure destroyed, leaving many towns isolated, which were not deemed crucial to the war effort. We should mobilize work brigades to repair these roads, bridges, and railways and make them better than they were before. Faith and labor. Religious values are shared, and the belief in a higher power compel us to be kind to one another, particularly to the less fortunate, and not to greedily grasp for as much as we can take. On the other hoof. We acknowledge labor as a source of all good things in life. It should be gladly undertaken by all those who are able to work, rather than treat it as a drudgery to be foisted off to slaves in the desperate. All right, since we're here anyways, it's a little bit ahead of time. That's all right. Call upon the people. What is this? Oh, three percent more war support. Ah, I like that. More pony powers too. Land clearance. You get more stability too. Ooh, let's go with that one. Level five supremacist influence is gone. Nice. I'm going to keep building this up here, too, because compliance is too high. Restore our dignity. Ready to war reclamation. We go to war with Tobuk. Oh. Huh. Now actually doing really well against Serantia. Interesting. And we'll get that. Nice. Faith and labor. Oh. Industry factory donations. Interesting. Let's go with that. And denounce the Crescent Moon Society. There's not a labor and sheriff terror who hasn't lost a friend or been scarred by the horrific experiments of the LMRD. They were the worst parts of the Legion, and the Crescent Moon Society is a continuation of their evil. There should be no cooperation with them, no amnesty, no agreements, nothing. Every labor and sheriff terror will cheer when ocean spray finally hangs. The Dusk Wayne Radio Sermons. Ooh, more political power. Our people need a kindly voice to assure them that their struggles mean something. That the bad old days will never return, and to make them hopeful for the future rather than falling into despair at the present. They need faith to bring them through these dark times, and Dusk Wayne will nurture that faith. What do we need? All three? Peace? Oh, we need this conciliation too, huh? Interesting. Industrial Coordination Office. Whether by they be aristocratic family businesses, 
public traded enterprises, or worker cooperatives. We should uh, invite prominent firms to planning the planning table to coordinate resource allocation and subsidies to promote economic recovery. What's over here? Chip gen oh. Ah. Support northern coal mining. We've never had a strong industrial sector without a steady supply of coal to fuel the furnaces. While the work was done once done by expendable laborers working in poor conditions, we believe we can do better with free workers who have de decent standards of safety and wages. Wait, turn remilitarization. Our enemies may have disarmed us, shed our military, killed off or driven off our high command, but they have little way of enforcing our demilitarization without starting another war. We'll immediately begin reintroducing conscription and rebuild our armies as quickly as possible, stronger than before. Mm, let's see. 214 width of legionary volunteers, huh? Oh, we can't do this one. Harmonist, Moon Society, well, integrate the National Legionary Brotherhood. The National Legionary Brotherhood consists of legionaries from religions which were too devastated in the aftermath of our defeat to reconstitute, reconstitute and refuse to join the three remaining legions. We should mobilize these disaffected veterans, recruiting them into a reconstituted legion with their own officers and uniforms. Now, I'll be honest, I've been trying to make sure that Tobago did not completely destroy Zerantia, but uh, they're still doing it anyways, so and we're developing the last because at this point we might as well. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. And let's see, resistance is at 38%, not good. 40%, not good. Um, these guys defeat them. Well, hopefully we can still beat these guys up in Tobuk. Um, hopefully we can, but you never know. Um, more stability, more war support, which I personally prefer. Uh, that's not bad. Stability and a little bit few guns, which is not bad, but... Looks like LLF is really, really freaking high. Mm, where are we at? 2%. I want this to go higher. New Mer Meridian. New Meridian. Resistance groups, these are all nice. Two and a half is nice. But I prefer 5%. Now let's have go on once again. So now they're 43%. The case going down, unfortunately. Resistance is back at zero, which is good. Like military governor. Which I don't understand with Tobuk, because I guess they keep mobilizing more. Resistance is slightly going higher. Oh. Oh, god dang it. Now they have more manpower to deal with. Which sucks. But hopefully they have more resistance. That's my goal, to make sure they have higher, higher resistance at all times. Are we going down here at all? Weekly change plus 0.2. Weekly change plus 0.7. Executive order is gone. Whatever, it is what it is. It is 10-11. We got those things done. Um, here, grab that. Just going to specialize in whatever we can specialize. Integrate. Nice. Um, what else do we have here? I like the pony power. We need any more pony power, so. But again... Yeah. One, two, three, four. Basically, 20,000 more core population, which is not bad. You get more stability, too. I'll take that one for now. Reach out to the Moon Society. More econ economic stuff. Oh, look at this. Chiraptaran Arcadianism. Chiraptaran is a beautiful country with a huge variety of crops we can grow. We will use this natural fertility <clears throat> to build a strong agricultural sector now that ceases drilling the war economy are no longer the order of the day. Not bad. Not bad. How good are these divisions? 14 combat with, yeah, that's not bad. I prefer these one. There you go. There you go. And probably start researching more technology stuff here too. I think that'd be for the best. Yeah, so she's more perfect kinda. Which means we can take anything else here too. Which would be nice. In the last 20 days, huh? Ooh, great war. Nice, 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 nice. And... So, compliance is going to be slow going up here. Resistance is heavily being de destroyed. Um, and waka talka talka So, we gotta really hit him hard. There we go. Yeah. No matter what, we gotta get our stuff back. We must get our stuff back. Enough PP now. Let's go with refinery. Yeah, synthetic research, research speed is good. Uh, enough population, stability. I like civvies. Uh, district organization. Mm, I do like the subsidized coconut crab ranching. The coconut crab is a fine piece of livestock, but unfortunately, the war left their ranches abandoned and the creatures to run wild. We should stop that rebuilding these ranches and expand them so we can tap into this resource once more. Yeah. Why not? Good, good, good. Um, 
Theracraft, ah, yeah. Theracraft is always good to invest in. So when can we restore dignity? Obviously we don't have the military for it, but still. 37%, oh god, that's not good. And Harmonus is the second largest faction, which is good, so... Lots of manpower. Plenty of guns. So for us, we're trying to throw ourselves up more. Um, Republican Militia. Suppression. They do the exact same thing, so we don't need both. Missionary Veterans. 14 combo with. These guys are Legion Remnants. There you go. Just call them Legions. Republican Guard Divisions. Well, I mean, technically... Any symbols of what we have here it could be really come thick and no extra cost. Oh, and, oh, we did get this one too. Anti tank rifle company. Piercing plus point six. Do we have enough for this? I'm um, sure. Why not? We need a lot of political power now, or manpower, pony power, some sort of power here. Uh, faith and labor, I guess we'll do that one next, perhaps. Or we go back over here. Officialized Civilian Defense League. The Civilian Defense League was always in an ambitious, uh, ambiguous position in the old system. Uh, civilians were not meant to do the Legionnaires' jobs, but they have more pr than proven their worth during the period of occupation following the Legion's defeat, which should formally integrate them into our armed forces. Absolutely. Oh, we get a free civvy. I like that, though. You know, I'll take that civvy. Oh, no longer fulfilled, huh? Oh, maybe we got we, we were too low. So it's just, ah, okay. Or of influence is perhaps below level five. Okay, my bad. That's my fault. Your house designs are good. Bet planes, good. Oh, okay, that's a way too ahead of time. My bad. Better digital computers, applied number theory is good too. Five. 38, 35. Yeah. Put more guys under there. That's good. Keep it nice and high. Okay, they're going to war with everybody. My god. Can I send you volunteers or something? One division of volunteers, huh? Honestly, as much as I want to use Pegasi, because they're decent. 156 soft attack, and 238 there. These have way more HP, way more soft attack, better breakthrough, better defense. So it makes more sense to send one thing of infantry over there. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, sometimes. Depends on the day. Depends how we're feeling, you know. Yeah, they're going to break through there. That's not good. I might have to do some fucky stuff off screen to make sure that they don't completely destroy these guys because this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, reach out to the True Moon Society. The two True Moon Society was a thorn on the side of the legions, refusing to worship the Nightmare and instead worshiping the moon directly, denouncing the entire Chiraptan system is based on lies. Much to a surprise, they have offered to aid our new republic in exchange for an official edict of religious tolerance. Not bad. Denounce the Crescent Moon Society. Uh, yeah. We read that one earlier, we read this one earlier too. Metonomics. Social slogan engineering and militaristic discipline are not what make a strong economy. We need to run things according to the trial and test of free market principles. We should adopt some of the practices of Care 6 ally Supreme Meadows, fostering the entrepreneurial spirit she promoted in her own business across the sectors of Chiraptor's economy. Oh, no, no, this one's going to just bypass it anyway, so we can't, can't do these ones anyways. May, long may our blue banner inspire. The hour of our liberation draws near. Our purpose is clear. Our cause is just. We work, we fight, we struggle together for a bright future free, to free bondage. Guided by the moonlight, we march for a better world. Um, ooh, that's not bad too. Nationwide recruitment campaign. We, re, we will rebuild our army, canvassing every city, every town, and every small village until we have a grand army to defend our republic and reclaim our lost pride. Back to the drawing board. 
Uh, evidently, the old system of six legions had major flaws. We can no longer afford to be bound by ancient traditions and religious dogmatism. We must look abroad, perhaps for our broader redesign our military from the ground up, and rapid rearmament. Our enemies could return at any time to crush what we are building. We have to make guns and fast, break out the backyard welders, scavenge the old armory, scrounge whatever we can possibly do to rearm as quickly as possible. And then we also... Ooh, this one seems pretty nice too, but... We read this one earlier. I think. Whether the BRS, Socratic family businesses, publicly traded enterprises, or working cooperatives, we should invite prominent firms to plan a planning table to coordinate resource allocation and subsidies to promote economic recovery. Yeah, we read this one too. Uh, the just in time system. Traditional manufacturing had each had each factory keep vast amounts of warehouses of raw materials in supply or reserve. This is inefficient. It leads to wastage and spoilage in the event of slowdowns and it frequently results in producing more product than the customers buy. A bad method is to transport materials as and when needed, arriving just in time to make into finished products. Breaking into the food processing industry. We have a large and highly skilled industrial workforce and bountiful land for agriculture. Combining those and the simple machinery we've left, we can become industry leaders in canned goods and other forms of food processing. Which would be great for us. Two more cities. Awesome. Awesome possum. Militia structural integration. During the brief but bloody period of occupation following our defeat, a number of mixed civilian military militias emerged to fight our occupiers. We should reach out to these semi-defunct organizations and integrate those willing to serve into our new army. So right now, um, this is where we're Zen has been at. I, I messed around with this a whole bunch. Um, yeah, this is not good for anybody. But we'll see what happens when we get to restore our dignity, of course, too. I might go back around and make sure that uh, Tobuk can actually do something, or we'll have to go to work with Zeno. I've been messing around with it a whole bunch, because I don't want Tobuk to just take out everybody and everything all the time. Um, how much support do they have? 54% is not bad. Uh, we could do this one, or we could go here, because we could really use more pony power, too. So, it is what it is. Um, air service, Monday Legionnaires, and revitalize the Legionnaires. I like that one. I like this one too. Uh, supply line disruption. Uh, we all live together. Huh. Well, that's not bad. That's pretty good too. 1% more population. Support the Sterling clique. Sterling Silver was the boldest officer in the Old Legion. He and his friends have intriguing ideas for integrating the elite of the Old Legions into the structure of a modern military, using them for surgical strikes and behind enemy line operations rather than frontline combat. Subsidized Selenic Motors. Selenic Motors is a civilian automotive company, but they have excellent production methods which can be put for military use purposes. However, the economy shambles, few of our citizens are looking to buy cars or tractors. We should bail them out in exchange for putting their expertise to work in our military industrial complex. Uh, another off map civvy? Yes, please. That would be fantastic. And we're just going to go soft stack the moment distribution method. Um, it is 10 12 still. Could get extraction or get more fuel. I guess we could probably go with extraction for now, even though we can't. All we get is more steel, but whatever. What else do we have here? Uh, we read that one. Kickstart the automobile industry. It's not bad. Two more millies would be nice, too. Because we could really use more artillery, really. Of course, we could use more tungsten, too. But <clears throat> So we'll do that one. Kickstart the automobile industry. We have a surprisingly good automotive industry, but until recently, very few buyers apart from the military. We've had very few fire buyers apart from the military. With the economy on the road or recovering, foreign markets opening up uh, to, uh, to us, we can issue a set of government-backed loans to get our automotive industry up and running. The LaHaye Reform Plan. The old legions never could quite get the hang of how to integrate the Air Force into the doctrine, but with their defeat and the establishment of a new republic, we can integrate the Air Force into our doctrine from the ground up. Leaf LaHaye has some great ideas on how to just do that. Nice. Oh, we actually get stuff here too. Interesting. Huh. Well, on the back of the Stone Age. Oh. Destroyers, subs. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Ah, mechanized wouldn't be bad, too. I think after this one, we're just going to go subsidize Selenic Motors, maybe. That wouldn't be bad. That'd probably be pretty good to do. Cool. And these guys are still stuck. Which I'm also okay with. So this is continuing to go up, maybe? Waka waka waka. Oh, I like this one, too. Keep blowing their compliance. That's still good to do. Um, Army XP. Yeah, why not? We could use some recon as well. There's, you know what, we're just going to go with this guy. Oh, no, I want nuclear research. We'll go to nuclear research. Uh, rebel the petrochemical industry. Feeding all these industries require fuel, and as we are no longer in a position to pillage North Africa for oil, we shall have to make do with imported petroleum or what we can synthesize on our own. We shall rise to that challenge and become all the more prosperous for it. Restart cash crop exportation. And the old system. 
If we wanted to export anything, it would have to be through shell companies and the black market. And the Nightmare's Hoop would have to inspect every shipment to the outside world to ensure it could not be traced back to us. With all the extra overhead, we could start selling our cash crops on the open market. Oh, oh, this one's... Oh, I didn't realize this. The Vocational Education Act. Basic literacy is not enough for our citizens. Every trip to citizen should, in addition to primary schooling, have access to free vocational training to go to the skilled trades, or in the case of students who demonstrate intellectual talent, into the sciences. Everyone's stuck here, huh? Even they're getting more compliance and whatnot. Um, 8%, 6.5%. Honestly, that's pretty good overall. I don't want to really damage them too much there, just enough. Uh, an off-map melee would be bad. Ooh, let's get more manpower. Pony power is really very, very important. Yeah, we're going to race for this one next. So we're almost done with this one. Two days left. Let's rebuild the chemical, petrochemical industry. Educational training, Rekindle Cherub Terran Entrepreneurship. Cherub Terran has always had an innovative, flexible culture that rewards creation and ingenuity. This culture has begun to truly flourish in a republic where all that creative energy is not solely directed towards finding new ways to kill and exploit people. Not yet. The fast food industry. A new industry is growing in Cherub Terra, fast food. As the name suggests, the idea is for new chains of restaurants to serve cheap, appetizing food within minutes of the customer ordering it. Moon Burger may be a tasteless name, but the burgers are tasty. Moon Burgers, get yours today. Um, tanks? We're not really using tanks, especially since we went on, uh, superior firepower. Look at it, shell companies. Yeah, I'll go do that. But I go with big old industry. It's super important. It's actually very, very important. They have not moved a single inch. Either side has not moved at all. Good to know. One and a half every day is not bad, though. Um, asymmetry treating warfare. Just resistance growth speed in our states occupied by the enemy. Well, I guess we could. Fact is, legions can be beaten in the open field. It has happened once and ha can, and can happen again. The day comes, we must be ready to fight delaying actions, guerrilla wars, insurgencies, and generally do whatever it takes to ensure that an operational defeat of the legions <clears throat> does not turn into overall defeat of our nation, as we may not be able to throw off the next batch of occupiers. That'd be unfortunate. Um, and we're going to go here to more entrenchment for engineers. Now we're probably armor... I might go with this. Ah, uh, it's 5% though. 5% is pretty good. We don't have any gas yet, but whatever. Um, pony power. Yeah, that's where it's at. Legionary mechanization initiative. An undisciplined bandit can kill the most elite legionnaire with a piece of straight shrapnel from a mortar. We should roll out shrapnel and ar small arms proof transport vehicles for soldiers so that when they die, it'll at least be on the battlefield proper, not come and not to some ambush or stray shell. And we'll all live together. <clears throat> the time has come. Our armies are ready, our industry is geared up for war, all, we, all they need is the order. All together now, socialists, liberal, and nationalists will fight as one to reclaim our land for the invaders for Cherub Terra. That'll be great. We can do all these, start the cash crops, and then may our blue banner inspire. Yeah. The well, hour of our liberation draws near, our purpose is clear, our cause is just, we work, fight, and struggle together for a brighter future to free bondage. Guided by the moonlight, we march for a better world. Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't we want to march for a better world? And do that too, as we're just absorbing and taking this, taking advantage of this as much as possible because I have to make sure that these guys are gimped. So my bad for doing that, but it is what it is. And we're at 60%, which means we should probably take this one for more support, which is good, and to build up our industry even more, 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 more until we get re really ready to go to war. But I think I might just end it there. In the next episode, we will go to war with Tobuk and probably eventually War Zeno, um, depending on what happens. So if you enjoyed the first episode in which we are. Uh, basically lost and then getting ready to go back to war. Please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as we'll see if we can actually wage a successful war. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.